All right, Alex. You wanted tear down, you get in tear down. We started by removing the front shield that gives you access to all of this radiator stuff. And we're getting ready to start the draining process for lots of lots of fluid. But anyway, we're gonna gut you, man. I thought you'd you. like to see it. We're gonna rip it out. Gut it. Let it bleed all that nasty oil out. Booyah. All right, so the first thing we remove is the radiator and the uh, condenser for the AC because you can't do anything else to get that out because this car is built so that you can't remove the fenders or the front grill at all. This whole thing is one monolithic piece of body and it's actually welded to the car. Exhaust off. Two-piece drive shaft removed. And this is why we get rid of these nasty gas vehicles. Oh, the only thing that keeps me going through this teardown process is knowing never again on this car. All right, lightning rod fans, this is the moment that we live for. Out comes Mr. Nasty Gas, oh yes. And as you can see, we had to take the transmission loose. Usually we'll pull a motor and a tranny all in one piece, but this monster of a car, that's Lincoln and that transmission, good Lord, probably seven, 800, 900 pound load. So as you can see, we're just about ready to pluck it out. Here she comes. Wait. Oh, look at that nasty. Ugh. You can drain them all you want to drain them, and they're still going to piss all over your down. shop floor, Go down. man. Go down. We missed one alternator wire. Not bad. So now it's time to resume the lifting. We clear? Yep. Looks good over here. We're into the second set of lift cylinders. Oh. Dripping, pouring the nasty. Ugh, I hate it. All right, we are clear and ready to back up now. Ready to rock and roll. So here you go. This is what your uh, disgusting, partially rusted, nasty looking engine bay. Oh, I will definitely be doing some body work in here. Uh, I think the owner should have to fly to Austin and help clean the shop floor. Maybe there should be a a cleaning penalty fee. Anyway, goodbye, Mr. 430 cubic inch gas guzzler Lincoln. Well, there's that 430 pallet strap ready for haul off transmission. Not gonna miss you guys. Thanks for getting the Lincoln to us, though. Appreciate that. Well, if you've ever wondered where the fuel tank on a Lincoln Continental is, it's right here. It's right behind this massive trunk, and it stands vertically here, and it is a tight little space. It didn't have a particularly large fuel tank on it, but I'm sure we'll put that space to good use. And you can see here all the dangling wiring. I'm starting the process of stripping down the engine bay, removing all the things that will not be reused and getting it ready for stripping with uh, dry ice and prepping for patching, repairing, welding, shaping, cleaning, and eventually beautiful painting. Well, here's the engine bay from a top-down view. As you can see, I've started removing stuff uh, like here, the squirrel cage blower is gone. That's part of it hanging there. It was actually busted with a hole in it and full of leaves so it had not been used. The AC lines had no refrigerant in them. I guess being a California car, he didn't need it. And as you can see, I've started removing a lot of the wiring and the solenoids and all the stuff. The goal is to get all of this cleaned out, get that old air handling system completely taken out. We'll be putting a vintage AC system in and then we'll be putting in an electric compressor. So you'll be getting new condensers, all that stuff will be new. And uh, here's where the battery box was, and we had a bit of rust uh, in this area that'll all get uh, blasted out with dry ice, and even up here in the front, you know. Anyway, 
here's a box of parts. We keep a lot of the old stuff, even though we know it's not going to be reused. We keep it for a little while until the conversion's done. That way, if there's just a mysterious problem and you want to be able to look at what was there from the factory to backtrack it. All right, Mr. Lincoln, I will see you in a little while with some wire cutters and some wrenches.